Hi, today I'd like to talk to you about the Panasonic G2. Panasonic G2 is a successor from Panasonic G1, which is the first micro four thirds camera, which doesn't have mirror uh, like DSLR. So the size uh, and weight is uh, significantly reduced. For example, uh, we can see the difference between uh, this is DSLR and the uh, the G2 it's DSLR and this is what I hold is a Nikon D90 with a 16-85mm zoom and you can see exactly what the how is uh, the size compare it's definitely uh, a lot bigger so Panasonic G2 is definitely is uh, uh, more simple and fun to to carry around so what is the difference between G1 and G2? Um, G1, um, obviously G2 has um, now has a movie recording mode um, and it has several uh, changes in buttons which is great because it has uh, now it has a recording dedicated recording button it has um, dedicated intelligent auto button it also has uh, camera mode dial it has release mode switch on off switch it has a uh, autofocus zone and autofocus mode which is a manual mode continuous and uh, single shot and as usually it have built built-in electronic viewfinder which is uh, separate the G1 from smaller versions GF1 which doesn't have electronic viewfinder and it has a uh, swivel LCD screen which um, L, uh, G1 has it too but uh, G10 uh, doesn't have it uh, the same as uh, GF1 is also doesn't have it too the swivel LCD screen is uh, helpful especially in the when you shoot overhead or low angle then what new about the G2 is uh, obviously the touchscreen LCD which is uh, uh, the first in this uh, micro first four touch system and with the touchscreen what you can do is uh, to set out the focus point which is interesting because it's so easy uh, instead of scrolling and uh, finding your autofocus point now you just uh, look at the LCD and then just uh, point at uh, whatever you want and uh, autofocus will lock it if you're if you ch choose the uh, mode uh, tracking mode uh, then uh, the autofocus will will track uh, will track the uh, lock in the object and track the object so when you move around uh, it still will um, lock in the the point that you choose then um, you can also change various settings with touch screen for example uh, hit quick menu I can change aspect ratio and size and then I can also change various other settings such as um, film mode, film mode dynamic standard, uh, black and white and so on and then I can also change the um, I can use it for changing uh, white balance which you can uh, actually see the screen the, uh, the, the difference uh, I mean as as you change it you can see the color in the screen which is uh, which the SRI cannot do so it's pretty cool so um, about the image quality uh, this G2 is pretty cool good up to ISO 800 after 800 it's kinda degrade uh, there's uh, not so much detail anymore and 3000 uh, 3, at 3200 ISO is uh, the image start to crumble and 6400 is only for emergency which I don't really um, 
recommend although the although the although it's available and this is because of the smaller sensor size so compared to DSR or other um, camera mirrorless cameras such as uh, Samsung or uh, Sony Max they have a bigger CD which is cleaner about one stop cleaner in the um, high ISO but overall this uh, camera is very uh, Panas from Panasonic is very innovative with the touchscreen LCD and I really like the user interface it has a lot of switches and button and so it's become very easy to change setting so if you are serious about um, taking uh, pictures in uh, very fast in uh, candids or whatever um, this camera G2 is uh, more suitable than uh, other uh, other mirrorless camera such as a uh, GF1 so the other thing is uh, something that I don't like is of course the comparing to DSLR uh, mirror system out of the autofocus even is uh, pretty fast but in uh, tracking f fast moving objects sometimes it's just cannot follow tracking walking or people walking or slow mo or slow moving up subject is fine but uh, in sport photography probably you want to have a DSR and DSRR instead so that's uh, all what, what I can say to you about this uh, camera today and I hope you enjoy it and please visit my blog for more reviews and um, thank you for your attention